so hello and welcome back um, in this video we are going to do trial number four on page 469 and the and the question is a, a wolf population is growing exponentially so it's you know that it's an exponential growth or an exponential model exponential model and so because it's an exponential model it's going to be in the form f of x is equal to a times b raised to the power x so in 2011 in 2011 129 129 wolves were counted so here 129 wolves were were counted by 2013 the population had reached 236 wolves 236 wolves so you can see that the population has grown over this period of time of two years um, so it's it, the the question is what two points can be used to derive an exponential equation modeling this situation write the equation representing the population n of wolves over time t so basically we we need to what two points to derive a, a formula for this for a formula of this form and what we can do is basically you can you can create a table like this tables always give you the opportunity to look at your data in a in an organized manner and so uh, you can then understand your data so basically this is your t let's say in years and this is your n of t the population of wolves and in 2011 you had 129 wolves here and in 2013 you had 236 so you can count this 2011 as year zero and then since this is year zero then based on this 2013 becomes year 2012 becomes year two i'm sorry year one and 2013 becomes year two so what you need to do here now now you have two points you have basically two points on the graph of this function one of the points is is here your t is equal to zero and your n of t is equal to 129 and here your t is equal to two so this is basically and the other point is your t is equal to two and n of t is equal to 236 236 so then basically this becomes your initial value because your function you have started counting at this point in time and this becomes year zero here so this becomes your initial value and now you have you have your a a is equal to 129 and since you have a you can you have to just figure out what your b is you can use th this point this is or or let's say this point 2 comma 236 so 2 comma 236 and write an equation in this form so in this form it would be your f of x is 236 is equal to a which is 129 times b raised to the power b raised to the power t of course and t here is equal to 2 so b squared so that basically means that b squared is equal to 236 divided by 129 so i guess this is 9 11 129 
So what you can do here, what you can do here, so you know that your B is not supposed to be negative. It's basically in the in the definition of a of a of um, in the definition of an exponential function, B is not supposed to be is not supposed to be less than zero, or you could say B is greater than zero. So since it B is, is supposed to be greater than zero, I can simply take the principal square root of B squared and just forget about the negative side of it and take this principal square root of 236 by 129. And let's see what that is. So this becomes B and this becomes the principal square root of so the principal square root of 236 by 129 is something like I I'm going to I'm going to round this to four decimal places to four decimal places so it becomes 1.352 uh, six. So this becomes your B. You have your A here. A is equal to 129. And so your function becomes, your function here becomes N of T is equal to, is equal to uh, A times, A times B raised to the power T. So your N of T is equal to 129 times b which is 1.3526 raised to the power t you can test this as well so if here for example if your t is equal to 0 this whole number raised to the power 0 becomes 1 and so your output becomes 129 which is what you got here and in and of course in in the second year so when t is equal to 2 n of 2 is equal to 129 into 1.3526 raised to the second power which is um, 129 into 1.3526 raised to the raised to the second power which is 236 this is 236.0089089 so it's pretty close to 236 the, the output of the function that we have here of course we because we rounded the numbers here then uh, of course we're getting this kind of answer here otherwise it's basically the same output so that's basically one way that you can solve these kinds of questions of course we have more examples and we will get more exercise with this kind of uh, basically with exponential functions i'll see you in the next video